Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look at including the Vue.js framework with our Webpack project. Much like Angular, there is a Vue.js CLI, which creates a pre-made Webpack boilerplate for you. But this course is all about deciphering what's in those boilerplates. So we're going to build it with plain Webpack to understand it better. Let's all start from a common place, the hookup branch. So we'll get checkout hookup. Now let's npm install view and the view loader. Now inside of our webpack.dev, let's add that loader to our module rules. So at the top here, we can say, we're gonna test for the extension VUE. And we're gonna use the view loader. Cool, now at the top, let's include a plugin. It's called the view loader plugin. And we'll require that from view loader. All right, so now in the plugin section, we wanna put in new view loader plugin, just like that. All right, so now our Webpack dev is all set up to handle view files. Let's set up our basic app files using touch. We're going to create a source app.js and a source app.view. Inside main.js, let's require that app file we just created, the lowercase app. And inside that lowercase app, let's set up the basic boilerplate code for a view app. We'll import view from view. And we'll import our app component from app.view. Now this is the part that the Webpack view loader is gonna look for. Now, the last thing to do in this file is to set up a new instance of view. New view, and that's a function. And it takes an object. The first property is L. That stands for element. And that's gonna be the ID or other selector of the element we wanna to use to root our Vue.js app. So if you go over here to index.html, you can see we have our old body and profile. So if we cut out the profile and replace this with a div, id app. Now that matches this. The final property is render. And this is gonna be a function that we run to render our view app. The function looks like this. The first argument of the function is by convention called h but really it should be called create element. It's a Vue.js function that takes in a view template and outputs a piece of virtual DOM, which will be the render. So now what does our app.view look like? Well, first of all, they all include a template tag. Inside this template tag, we can just paste that profile. We don't have to change anything to class name. This just comes in as plain HTML. So now app.js is importing view and it's rendering it here inside the app div in our index. Cool, so now we've got it all wired up. The last thing we need to do, we'll find out after we run our server. So since we're attempting to render a view template, we need the view template compiler. So we can npm install view template compiler. And while we're at it, let's do the view style loader. These two packages are common with view and allows us to compile templates and to use the style loader the same way we would do it in a normal JS file. The view style loader is gonna allow us to have those hot CSS changes like we're used to. So now that we've installed those two, let's npm run dev again. Compile successfully. It looks like we have our view runtime included in our package. So what's this look like? Looks like it did before. If we go into our console, we see that the, the app div has been replaced by a div containing our profile. So Vue.js replaces this, everything inside the app view template. View transposes image tags to point to the proper image. So this is pointing to the root. This is our view loader at work. So we can probably change this. And it updates instantly with hot reloading. 
All right. What about our CSS? Looks good. So we have a view dev tools in our console. This allows us to inspect our view app. I highly recommend downloading the dev tools for view. So you can just add these to Chrome and then you have the dev tools. All right, so finally, we, have, we sort of have a Vue.js app at this point, but we don't have any state in our app. So let's create some components and add some state so we can see the final tweak we have to do to our Webpack config to get everything working. So let's exit out of the server. And we're gonna create some files. First, we're gonna make a directory, a source. We're gonna call it components. Then we're gonna create a new component, a source components called profile. Now in app.js, you can include another property that tells the view app that we have components inside of our app. So we're gonna say profile is the name of a component we want. And we're gonna import that. And components, profile. Don't forget your commas. So then in components profile, let's import view from view. And we'll export default a view component profile. The second argument is an object. First thing it can contain is data. And that's going to be a function that returns an object. The second thing is the template itself. Now that's going to be a lot of things. We're going to use template literals for right now. So this template property is just pulling in a string. And we're going to get that string from the inside of our app.view. We're going to take this profile stuff out and we're just going to add profile. Now when we paste it in the template, we have a new working component. Let's add some data. Let's add name law. And down here, we'll do double curly brackets and we'll give it that name. So now we have an app component that registers a profile, a profile component that renders the template and an app.view, which just includes the profile component. So let's start it up and see where we're at. Compiled successfully. There's nothing on the screen. Why is that? If we go to our console, you can see there's a warning. In profile, you're currently using the runtime only build of view where the template compiler is not available. Either pre-compile templates into render functions or use the compiler included build. Now for development, we want to use the compiler included build so we can have these templates exist however we want. Now, if we would have included this profile as a new .vue file, the loader would have done this for us. But in development, we really want to have the compiler included build. In production, we'll have the runtime only build. So the way we solve this is actually pretty simple. We go into webpack.dev and we create an alias. We say resolve alias, and that's an object. And that object says view as the property, and then view dist view esm.js. So this tells Webpack when they encounter something like this, where do you resolve to? So we recompiled successfully, and this has reloaded and is not giving that error anymore. We're using the compile time build, the simple resolve. So resolve is kind of a larger topic, um, but effective to say that every time view encounters something like this, it replaces it with something like this, and everything works out. All right, cool, so we got it going. Let's update this data a bit, save it, and it updates. All right, so if you need to catch up, get checkout Vue.js final. In this episode, we got into Vue.js. We added a Vue.js loader, a plugin, and a simple alias to our Webpack dev so as to be able to use Vue.js components. You can see there's not much new or special about Vue.js file types. Webpack gobbles them up and turns them into JavaScript, just like everything else. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.